Welcome to List It Live, where we give you a guided tour of San Diego's hottest homes for sale. We're going to go to North County today to the Duluth area with Rebecca Monge. How are you? Great. Great. So you're usually here. like my Fallbrook girl, but this home's in Duluth. Right. And Fallbrook, Duluth is part of Fallbrook. It's okay. Eastern Fallbrook. Okay. Um, it's it's for, for the people who want some privacy and to be in the country. Ooh. Because driving to this home is a beautiful country road with you know, overhanging trees. I mean, you really feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere, even though from this home, from this door to downtown Fallbrook is 19 minutes. Wow. And 20 minutes to Temecula. Look at that. You Yes, the views from every room, including the garage, are amazing, completely unblockable. Um, this is uh, right off the back of the garage. You've got this whole outdoor dining area with the barbecue. And I'm telling you, it's silent. Uh, on the way there, this is a cool little kind of party thing that they have set up off to the left of one part of the property. It's like a little glass house. They used to like play a band there and they have all these lights that light up the hill, red, white, and blue behind it and kind of a bar area. It's just kind of a party area. You could do anything with this. This is one of many flat areas that used to be compacted and was used for horses. So wow. there's lots of areas where you could have horse stalls or put an ADU. This is the 10,000 gallon tank wow. uh, that is uh, where the well water is pumped. It's fully on well for drinking and irrigation and everything nice to not be paying that water bill. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is inside. This is so cute. This is the kitchen and it's completely open to the family room with the fireplace there. That is, so that's all one big open space. It is an upgraded kitchen. This looks like saltillo tile. It is not, it is a ceramic tile. And one thing my seller likes, you can kind of see a little bit, is there's no baseboards anywhere in the house. Uh, the tile actually goes up a few inches on the wall. She said there's nothing on earth easier to clean, very durable, very beautiful. I was just about to say the cleanliness of that and the ease, woo. Very easy, that's one thing she really loved it. It's got a cool architectural style. You'll see coffered ceilings. Uh, ceiling fans, uh, the same tile throughout the entire home. Um, this is not the master, but it's huge, like a master. One of the bedrooms on the front of the house yeah. and the same incredible views everywhere. This is the master and you can see it looks out into the backyard and out into the uh, barbecue area. And it has an enormous master bath, dual vanity, tub, shower, gigantic walk-in closet, the whole shebang. Now the closet, I'm sorry, the garage is a little different from the front of the house. You'll see it's a two door garage door, but when you're inside, it is a oversized three car garage. Wow. So you could go in and kind of turn to the left. It depends on how you do it. Um, my client uh, used to work on cars and motorcycles and all kinds of stuff. So this is a huge garage. And one thing I love is it has a slider over there. So tons of natural light and ways in and out of the property. I love it. And I know that a garage is traditionally used for a car, right? It's used tradition. That's not what they're used for anymore. Right. We use them as our tinker shops. We use them as our storage rooms. When you have a three, oversized three plus, right. you could have your whole entire Costco collection in there that you need and a car. <laughs> exactly. Um, just to let you know, I don't know. Can you go back to the yeah, we the can go back to whatever you want. shot? Yeah, let's go back to that one. This is just a drop over eight acres. Wow. Mm -hmm. Fully on well water, 27 paid solar. So if you can see like that, what looks like a telephone pole there, and you can see it's kind of a line. It goes way up the side of the mountain. And right there in front of that telephone pole, that is a completely flat area, perfect for horse corrals, perfect for a casita or an ADU. The property goes way down that way. Then it goes to the right, the main driveway of the house where you can see the solar panels. And then it goes way off to the right of that. There's more areas for horses. Yeah, it's 8.05 acres. Wow. And silent and quiet. Yesterday I drove up there and the biggest road runner I have ever seen ran across the road in front of me. It was just beautiful. I love it out there. It's just stunning. Okay, so, and we were talking about it kind of being completely off the grid. Yeah, it really is. I mean, with the solar and the well water, it really is. Even though there is a sight line uh, AT&T antenna on top of a, a water tower a ways away, so, you know, 
you have great uh, reception if you're AT&T. I sign into the Wi-Fi. The moment you get to the property, you can sign into the Wi-Fi and you're perfect. You're That's cool. amazing. Mm -hmm. this and is yet great. 20 minutes to Temecula, 19 minutes to Fallbrook. But that decompression drive on the way home is spectacular. Oh, absolutely amazing. Okay, well, if you would like an opportunity to come check out 2344 Eric Road in Fallbrook, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, over 2,300 square feet with that incredible backyard space. And I really did love that party room in the back too. It's love, cool. Love that. It could be an artist studio or whatever you need. Reach out to Rebecca. This is really a once in a lifetime opportunity to own a property like this. Rebecca, are you having any open houses? I am. I'm going to do a short open house this Saturday from 11 to 1. Perfect. Or if not, if you can't make it then, just go ahead and reach out to Rebecca or Alicia. Yeah. They're always here to help. Thanks for bringing this hot home on List of Life. Thank you.